Hi, and welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant, and today we have for you a 2002 ML 55 AMG, and it's black with black leather interior. It's travelled about 171,000 Ks, but is in very good condition. Every single wheel is like brand new. There's no scratches, no marks. You've got your big Mercedes brakes in there. This car came from Adelaide. This car, along with a CL500 Mercedes-Benz, was traded by a husband and wife on a Range Rover we've got for sale. It's got a very, very good service history, and they were both very into their Mercedes-Benz. Has a very good service history to it. Um, it's been serviced on time, every time. They basically said that anything which you know, ever needed to be done was done. Being an AMG, it does have navigation as well. This is the update series. Um, it's got heated seats. You can control the very back windows in and out as well. Being the AMG, it has a much nicer dash. Um, the cluster is much better as well. Wood grain steering wheel. Apparently between the 2001 ML series and the 2002 ML series, uh, there was a few updates you can see like the headlights being updated, the wheels, the interior. And the other time I was told by a Mercedes-Benz dealer there was actually about 150, um, 150 differences between this and the, and the one before which is quite significant. I'm sure there's just a lot of little things you can't see. But yeah, black with black is by far the best colour combination. All the seats fold down so it's got very good usability to it. Again, the back left wheel which always seems to be the most, you know, scratched up with gutters and whatever else, is in very good condition. It's got a Mercedes-Benz tow bar and tongue. That hasn't been lost, like with other cars. Being AMG, it's got your twin exhaust at the back there, which looks fantastic. He said he never even really used a tow bar. He took a box trailer to the tip a couple of times, and that was about it. But yeah, it really is in incredible condition. The tongue's actually in here. All the leather is in incredible condition. You've got your spare wheel in the back there as well. These have absolutely incredible power. And because they're four-wheel drive, you know, if you if you do put your foot down, the car sticks to the road beautifully because you've got all four wheels spinning. Whereas with some of the two-wheel drive AMGs, like there's one in the background there, it, they do have difficulty actually putting the power to the road. Whereas these are excellent. Second hand, there's really not much difference between you know, the price of this and ML55 and say an ML500 or even an ML350. New, it would have been an extra fifty or a hundred thousand dollars. Yet second hand there's only you know, there's only a few thousand dollars in it difference. For me personally there wouldn't even be a question I'd I'd be buying an, an AMG. It does have memory seats as well. It's got a Bose sound system. It's got the Nav C D in there as well. It really is a lovely car. And despite the big V8 you can still get a very good fuel consumption because it requires almost no effort to get up and going. Or to get it up and going, I should say. So if you're looking for a family four-wheel drive, or even if you're just looking for an SUV to get away on the weekends, you can't go past one of these. I'd say it's probably one of, or the fastest SUV in its time. Um, maybe just behind the, port, the Cayenne Turbo. Uh, but yeah, these V8s are ultra-reliable, they've got very strong gearboxes. This car does have Xenon headlights as well, which is another thing you get in the AMG. Uh, but yeah, ultra-reliable, as long as you service them on time every time. They really are great cars. Some people suggest that they're a better car than the 500 because they've, just, they've got a stronger gearbox, stronger engine, stronger diffs. You know, they, you tend to get a lot more kilometres out of these AMG series cars. So look, give us a call. We're the old-timer centre. Take this car for a drive. I know you're not going to be disappointed. It really is just lovely.